Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Queen Charlotte. Born Sophia Charlotte of Mecklenburg Strelitz on the 19th of May 1744, Queen Charlotte was the youngest daughter of Duke Charles Louis Frederick Strelitz and Princess Elizabeth Albertina of Saxe Hedberghausen. She is believed to be Britain's first black queen as she had African descendancy. She was also the last queen of America before its independence. Mecklenburg Strelitz was a small northern German duchy in the Holy Roman Empire. Charlotte was born and brought up at Lower Castle at Morav. When King George III of Britain came to the throne in 1760, he was 22 when unmarried, and the 17-year-old Princess Charlotte was an obvious choice for his wife. The king announced to his council in July 1761 his intention to wed the princess. A party of escorts led by the Earl of Harcourt, who was depicted here, departed for Germany to bring Princess Charlotte to England. It took till August the 17th for her to depart to Britain. The voyage was difficult, with three storms at sea. She arrived in London on the 8th of September. At 9pm the same evening, within six hours of arrival, the wedding of Princess Charlotte and King George III took place at the Chapel Royal at St James's Palace. Their coronation took place on the 22nd of September 1761. Less than a year after the marriage, on August the 12th, 1762, the Queen gave birth to her first child, the Prince of Wales, who would later be George IV. In the course of their marriage, the couple became parents to 15 children, George, William, Charlotte, Edward, Augustus Sophia, Elizabeth, Ernest, Augustus Frederick, Adolphus, Mary, Sophia, Octavius, Alfred and Amelia. St James's Palace was the official residence of the royal couple, but the king had recently purchased a nearby property, Buckingham House. In 1762, the king and queen moved in, calling it Buckingham Palace. Charlotte loved it. Fourteen of her children were born here, and it became known as the Queen's House. Queen Charlotte also purchased Frogmore House in Windsor Park in 1792 as a country retreat for her and her unmarried daughters. This is where Golden Jubilee celebrations for King George III happened in 1809. Queen Charlotte and George III loved music, especially German composers. The Queen's music master was Johann Christian Bach. Eight-year-old Mozart performed for the Queen and Opus 3 was dedicated to her when published on the 18th of January 1765. The Queen was an amateur botanist who took great interest in Kew Gardens at the then Dutch Palace. The South African flower, Bird of Paradise, was named in her honour Strelitzia. A number of orphanages were founded by Charlotte and she became the patron for the Queen's Hospital. Today this is called the Queen Charlotte's and Chelsea Hospital. Queen Charlotte was kept unaware when King George III suffered his first temporary bout of mental illness in 1765. However, the Regency Bill was passed in 1765, stating that if the King was permanently unable to rule, Charlotte would become regent. During the 1788 illness of the King, Charlotte and her son, the Prince of Wales, had a conflict over the Regency. The Prince of Wales was declared the regent if the King became permanently insane. But the King Court and minor children were under the guardianship of Charlotte. The Queen died at Dutch House, now Kew Palace, on the 17th of November 1818 and she is buried at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Many places around the world are named after Charlotte. There is Charlotte Town in Canada, there is Queen Charlotte Bay in the Falklands, there is Queen Charlotte Sound in New Zealand, there is Charlottesville in Virginia, USA. There is Charlotte in North Carolina, USA. And there's Mecklenburg County in Virginia, USA. Don't forget, if you like this video, to subscribe to my channel. And follow me at Facebook or at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at TanyaRelix38 or at Facebook.com TanyaRelix38.